Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to your family. How y'all doing? <laughs> Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, y'all, you know, I had one of the most craziest mornings already. So I had to come in and make a video about this. <laughs> okay. As y'all know, I try to get out as early as possible before everybody gets up. Because, you know, the corona. And I didn't have a mask on. So usually I try to get up and get to walk at maybe about uh, a 4.30, a quarter to 5. It's just starting to be daybreak, right? So on the way, going out. <laughs> okay, that's enough, that's enough. On the way, going out, y'all. I hooked up the dog. I said, okay, come on, y'all, let's go. So I took Mufasa with me, and we decided to go for a walk. Now, when I crossed the street, and I was starting to admire how the city put down a bunch of beautiful flowers um, out here, just absolutely gorgeous. And the worst part about it is I have been asking them to put these flowers down forever, right? I did, in all fairness to them, I did tell them to cut down the bushes so you could see on either side because there was too many accidents, right? Because there's these divided big medians in the middle of the street with big plants. And, you know, they can be very beautiful, but they can also obstruct your vision, okay? Well, so as I was looking around and admiring the flowers, I see a fucking coyote cross my path and... Of course, I freaked out, and I was hoping that he wasn't coming by me and Mufasa. I had Mufasa with me, yeah, because I had one. I had two walks now, so I took Mufasa first, right? Now I was a big freaking coyote, and he saw me, and he saw the dog, and so now the dog is looking at him. So he's going, well, so there, he, he's at it. The dog is rrr, 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 going for him. And I thought for sure the coyote was coming because he came, start coming towards me. And I had the mace. So I was, you know, I grabbed it and I whipped it out because I was going to spray him right in the damn face, right? Except he ran past me. Um, he, you know, when he, he made like a, you know, like a little dip. And kind of went over the other side while my dog was still going like this. So I'm already freaking out. There's a damn coyote. And with this long face. Um, I'm going to start taking my camera out. when I go for these walks in the morning. And it's going to be pretty interesting. Because this is too crazy. So now I got past that. And I was like, oh, let's hurry up and get this over with. So we, I went down where my boundaries were. Came back home, locked him up, sent him out in the yard, and I said, okay, let me lock, let me hook up Abu, and let's get going. So I'm on the road now. So now it's about, maybe about 5.15, okay? And so it's a little lighter, of course. So I get my ass out there, y'all. I'm on the front porch. I didn't get down three damn steps with a big freaking raccoon. I swear to God, it looked like it must. This thing was at least a hundred pounds, at least. I'm I'm serious. I'm not kidding. Um, a fat is my dog. <laughs> I said that again. And he got hit by a car right in front of my face there. Uh, he got hit by a car right in front of my face. 
Uh, now, yeah, this time I saw it head on. I just, just a couple days ago, a raccoon was hit out in front and a dude came up and drug him from the middle of the street to the curb where he was start wiping his hands as he was looking at him. I was like, ah, dude. He, he said, well, I got to get him out of the street. I was like, I would have called vector control for that. And he started wiping his hands. I was like, oh, you a nasty mom. Okay, anyway. Today, I saw firsthand a bullseye. A raccoon. Get the. Y'all already know. Okay. Oof. I thought I'd share that with y'all because it really disturbed me. And I'm not going to go out and take no pictures of no dead raccoons. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it's been a hell of a morning. It's been a hell of a morning already. All right. I'll see y'all in the next video.